Okay, hello again. A new day, a new project. I know that uh, this one has been done before. I'm talking about putting together a do-it-yourself oscilloscope DCO138 from JITEC. I think it's JITEC or GE Tech. Now we're gonna take a close look to all the components and uh, I'm gonna show you how to sort the things and how to control the, the components, if they are good or not, who knows, everything is possible. And uh, finally we're gonna have a test and uh, to starting, you know, to put alive this Frankenstein oscilloscope, I may, I may say. Because it's pretty crazy, you know. It measures to 200 kilohertz, but uh, I think it's a very useful tool around uh, around the hobby table. First of all, let's check what uh, what they have here in this pack. So we have the display. Let's see about the display. Be careful with this one because it's very fragile. Hopefully, it's. Uh, is it an one piece? Yes, it is. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. So, this goes here. Now, so you can see there are a few parts already soldered here. I have uh, the microprocessor here. I have to solder all the other pieces. Luckily, we don't have any SMD parts they already been soldered and this is nice the name of this kit is 13803k that's the one like I said luckily we have uh, all the SMD parts already soldered over here and we have instructioners how to put the things together. We will start with the components. And we have everything here in this plastic bag. I'm gonna start with resistors. And uh, I'm gonna do a check in the same time. So, we're gonna do the other way. We're gonna plant everything at hand. Let's finish with, uh, with the resistors. What we got here? 300 ohms. Where is 300 ohms? Oh, it's only one. 300 ohms goes to L6. Another one. This is one kilo, I suppose. Oh no, 120 ohms. So we have one, two, three of these. L8 120 ohms. So we're starting with L8 1 kilo. Do we have 1 kilo? Of course we have. So we put L8, now we have L9 1 kilo. Let's see. L. So we are almost done with the resistors here. Let me tell you something. I think the best. And uh, the most easy way to do all this resistor planting, I may say, is to take each resistance, each resistor, check it for capacity or, you know, checking for the resistance. We have one kilo here. Okay. Then you find in the list one kilo. I already have this one done and you just turn it like that, you know, mark it, R15, where are you, R, it's right here, R15. So I think this is the easy and the fastest way to, to do the things. You check the part, then you check the list, you check the list, then you mark it. You mark it here and then you plant it. It's much easier than to sort the resistors uh, uh, from the beginning, each of them you know, and 
and then to plant. No, just pick them up, measure 10 kilos, check the list, 10 kilos L39 and plant it. So all the registers are in place and the checklist it's, uh, it's okay. Now we get ready to, to solder the things, to solder the resistor. So that's why I'm going to use that's the soldering gear and of course my PS100 set to 350 degrees Celsius. Clean it up a little bit and now all we have to do is to turn the board. This kind of wire already have the flux in so it's very easy to do that. If you feel like the, the solder is not good enough then you can use a little bit of flux like I'm doing now and this is resin okay so the, the soldering part is done now I have to cut the, the terminals here I'm using this kind of uh, nail clipper I don't have any special tools about that but it's working very well look here to be done. Let me take this out of here. You can use a magnet to make this easier. See? I'm always keeping this because it's very nice to have them in other projects. And uh, a very good idea now is to have a little bit of flux this this is self-made flux from resin resin and, uh, and isopropylic alcohol I'm gonna do this kind of flux to check all the soldiering again that makes everything going much 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 easier and it's also not a bad idea to have everything. Okay, so all the resistors are in place, soldered and verified. And now it's time to plant all the other parts. And I, like I said before, I'm just picking apart and planted. So I'm not choosing or checking, uh, you know, put them in a spe special uh, way. Just pick them up and plant it. So all the capacitors and diodes, uh, the crystal is here too. Everything is planned and soldered and resoldered, you know. I checked everything. Now let's turn to, to the other parts we still have here. Okay, so all the parts are soldered. So all the parts are soldered here, checked and rechecked and now I have to put these pins on the LCD screen. Be really careful because this have to be backward somehow. So the first intention is to put the pins here and to make the soldiers the other way. No. Be really careful so this uh, this let's call it this pin should be under the earth okay so now everything is done all the parts are in place it looks like let's say uh, almost two hours to do that so I can't say this is for beginner okay maybe it is but you need to have some soldering skills the parts are pretty difficult to be soldered and also you need a really good soldering pen or toy anyway because there are a lot of parts 
to be soldier on the ground, you know, the big, the big parts over there, and they are kind of hard to soldier. Let me clean a little bit the board. That's is a little big alcohol. Okay, so now let's have some checks before. I have to apply 9 volt. Okay, let's find some power. Before, before anything else, I have to short GP3 with soldier. Where are you, GP3? Here we go. So, this is GP3. We have to bridge it here. It's done. Then, GP3 is in short, the RCD board is out, and then we check the voltages. So, we apply the voltage here. So, I have my, uh, it should be 9 volts. I don't have it. I have 12 volts. But I'm pretty sure it's working because we have, uh, uh, we have 79. And 78 here, like power uh, stabilizer, and it shouldn't be a problem. But I have to check if it's the right polarity. Now we shall we have to check the voltage at TP22. We got TP22 over there, and we should have around 3.3 volts. Okay, let's have the ground here, and we got nothing. Of course, I got nothing because my diode over here. It's soldier in the bad position. Mystery solved. Okay, there we go. So the diode can fix it. Now it's in a proper position. Let's put the power on. Okay, so now we should have here 3.3 volts ground. We have 3.3 volts. 3.45 and that's good. Then we have to disconnect this. And there we are. GP4 soldier. Okay. We got GP4 permanently bridged. And then we have to plug the LCD board. And now all you have to do is to apply power to see moment of true. There we go. What? It's working. Yes, perfect. All we have to do is to have this on. Oh my. Before anything else, let's do a proper probe calibration. So I have to connect the red clip to the signal test. This this is a one kilohertz signal and then we have to put the sensibility one this one to zero one volt like it is and sensibility sense two switch to X5 like it is then I have to adjust the time base to zero two milliseconds and it is and now I see a waveform that's like I said it's a square of form then I have to turn C4 this is C4 wave was small screwdriver until the wave it's sharp and we have the right corners of there And we have it like this. Then we put sense one, sensibility one, this one to one bolt like this, and the other one sense two to x one like this. And now, now we have to adjust C six this one here yes until the the, the angle is right and there is nothing and all the spikes or something else back back 
back. Okay, something like this. That should be the result. And that's it. Now we did the we did the adjustment. Like I said before, I'm really really happy. It's working and it worked from the beginning. Except that the diode over there we got a little problem. And uh, what else to say about this project? I don't feel like it's for a beginner because you have to have skills for soldering all these parts and I may say they are not exactly the best quality or maybe I don't have the right flux or the right soldier but I'm pretty sure this is good you also need a good soldier tool TS100 it's very nice and uh, something else I may say it's working very nice with 12 volts because I don't have 9 volts adapter so this is 12 volts here but it have this protection of diodes and all the other stuff so finally it turns to be a really nice uh, weekend project and in the same time it's very useful around uh, the hobby table uh, that's it for now folks thank you very much for watching Please subscribe, don't forget that I really need subscribers to keep on going with these projects and uh, if there are any questions and comments please don't hesitate to write them down, I answer as quick as possible and uh, for now thanks again for watching and uh, be safe, see you soon with some new projects, bye bye.